What's uh, Welcome back for another 2 minutes tips and tricks video. Thanks for tuning in. My name is Back again. I'm an MRI radiographer. So in this video I'm just gonna give a short brief on something I found out when we went from E11 C software to E software. It's regarding the Dixon and the composing part for some bodies for others is okay. But I find it's very cool. So without further ado, let's go to the scanner. Alright guys, I'm using 1.5 Tesla for showing you guys this but uh, it doesn't matter which field strength you're at because it's a software related uh, thing so in front of you here is a browser i just run a few dicks in here with the spine you can see i divided the spine in two steps there cervical thoracic and then i have thoracic and the l spine and then in the end you will get a composed images because this is online composing which means that i have a setup which Whenever I'm finished with my Dixon, they will automatically compose. So it's not offline, which means that you have to manually do it afterwards. So you can see that all the composed images, four images, is in phase, out of phase, water and fat only, are in one stack, as you can see there. And this is from the software E11C. You can see there it's one stack this is image 66 out of 76 so it's all in one stack so now we're going over to the software e11e same here i divided this spine into three cervical toracal and then the l spine so in the end of here you see there is online composing but suddenly it's divided in four so it's not in one stack which is good actually it's divided so you have to do it in the packs later you can see it's water only composed fat only composed and it's in phase composed and opposite composed and there you go they are all divided in each separate C series that's from E11E that's it guys if you find this video valuable please hit the like button and I have a question for you before we close up. Did you notice this change when you update to E11E? If so, let me know in the comment section down below. Do not forget to subscribe and hit the notification bell so whenever new stuff from here coming up, you will get a ding ding. So until next time, I catch up with you.